This is how I made a 3,000 pound sarcophagus and put a bag of Flaming Hot Cheetos on the inside of it and then dug a big hole and buried it underground for future civilizations to find. Step one was to cut out sheets of melamine and make a large form. And I was using reinforced concrete, so I needed to seal the form with silicone. I also made a form for the top head plate. I cut out rebar and then heated it up so that I could bend it into 90 degree angles. Then I welded it together. Concrete has a really good compressive strength, but it has really bad tensile strength, so you need the rebar to keep it from cracking. So once I had one layer of concrete down, I got a second smaller form that I had made and put it inside the outer form, and it made sort of a bathtub thing. And 2,100 pounds of concrete and a bunch of random bruises later, I had the sarcophagus done, and luckily I had help for the headstone. I let those dry for about a month and a half and then came back and started the demolding process. The, the outside of the mold was really easy to get off, but the inside I needed a sledgehammer and a pry bar. Then I dyed the sarcophagus black. Uh, I did run into an issue with the headstone and it was I needed to flip it over to the smooth side, but it was 900 pounds. And so I came up with what I thought was a good idea, which was attaching a ratchet to my car, but it ended up just breaking the table. And then it started flipping the table over, but eventually with the pry bar, I was able to get it upright. And then I just gently lowered it down and was able to dye the top part. I used a laser cutter to cut out the ingredients for Flaming Hot Cheetos and then spray painted those, used an adhesive spray and then gold leafed them on. The Flaming Hot Cheetos people are not sponsoring or even aware of this project. Then I went to a bodega and got a bag of Flaming Hot Cheetos and cast it in resin and then beveled the edges and attached eye bolts to each of the four corners. And I did the same thing for the inside of the sarcophagus. And then I ran wires to the Flaming Hot Cheetos with springs on the end so that it was elevated and seismically isolated so that if there was an earthquake, it wouldn't get damaged. Then I took a 10 watt diode laser and tried to burn off all the germs from inside the sarcophagus. Um, then lowered the top plate on and hermetically sealed it. Once that was done, I started digging a really big hole. Uh, four hours in, I took a grape break and sharpened the tip of the pickaxe, but I had to move the grapes because they were getting sparks on them. The first day, I did about seven hours of digging, and then on the second day, the landowners asked if I wanted help with the tractor, and I said, absolutely. And after the hole was dug, we loaded it up onto a trailer and drove it out to the burial site. And the tractor brought it the last little way. When we were offloading it, the sarcophagus rolled prematurely down and got stuck. And we tried using pry bars, but it was 3,000 pounds. So we had to get this super long uh, pry bar. And with the extra leverage, we were able to put it in place. And then we buried it underground with the help of the tractor. I also made this monument for marking the burial site as well. And that's it. Hope you liked it.